Medieval Minecraft 1.16.5, a somewhat popular Curse Forge mod pack. But the question is, is it useless? Personally, I think so. Why do I think it's useless? Let's talk about it. Now, as I've said, Medieval Minecraft 1.16.5 is a somewhat popular Curse Forge mod pack. But I think it's useless. Personally, there are a few reasons for that. We're going to get into those in a second. First, I need you to check out my proof. That's right, I'm bringing the receipts straight out of the gate. So, let's get into it, shall we? Alright, here it is. Now, as you just saw, it is pretty laggy, which is one reason why it's so useless. This mod pack is very laggy unless you have a high-end computer, which is annoying for people like me who can't afford the high-end stuff. Why can't people make mod packs that work on every computer just as smoothly? Why must you make complicated mod packs that only work on high-end computers to a satisfactory level? thus forcing you to get a higher-end computer in order to play cool mod packs like this because your lower-end PC can't work these stupid things. Personally, I have no idea. But I don't think, you know, we can entirely, you know, hate on these guys too much. I mean, they do put a lot of work into these mods, and that's why they're so cool, but the problem is... They put a lot of work into making the mod cool and don't seem to think about how many computers can actually run this thing. They don't seem to think, can lower-end computers run this thing? Because if you think about how to get lower-end computers to run it, that means the mod pack gets exposed to more people because lower-end computers can run it just as smoothly as a higher-end one. But that's just me. And I don't think the mod pack user thought too much about that when they were making the mod pack. I think they were just focusing on making the mod cool and other stuff aside from making it easier for lower end PCs to run. But that is just me. I'm not sure what you think about the matter, but personally, that's my opinion. But anyway, I should probably make a note that everything I say in this video is my opinion. It does not necessarily reflect the views of the fan base of this mod pack. Everything I say in this video is just my personal opinion. But with that out of the way, let's get to the next point. Why are there so many mods? Now, this is part of why I think it's so laggy. There's way too many mods in this thing. I mean, why are you putting so many mods into this mod pack? I mean, come on, it's like you're overstuffing your BLT. Alright, you don't overstuff a BLT, otherwise you can't fit it in the box. Now, in case you're wondering, I'm referring to the BLT from McDonald's. That's a little sandwich. Now, I'm not entirely sure why you would overstuff a mod pack like this, but I think that is the next reason why it's so useless. There are way too many mods which cause your computer to lag out and start complaining at you. But that is just me. It's like you're overstuffing your BLT. Okay? If you overstuff your BLT, you make a big mess and cause problems. Which is exactly what I think is going on with this. They've overstuffed their BLT, and now lower end PCs, like mine, can't run this dumb thing because there's way too many mods. It's causing lag, causing the computer to not like the mod pack at all. So it doesn't cooperate entirely. I mean, personally, 
I think it's cool that, you know, it has a lot of mods, and it does seem like a cool mod pack. I just wish it would work properly. And I'm sure I'm not the only person with this opinion. I mean, let's be real here. I'm definitely not the only person who's had this problem before, and no, I don't think Googling it will help me at all. <laughs> but that's just me personally. I don't think Googling it will help me. I think Google will just confuse me with way too many options, and none of which will help me very much. But that's just me. If it's easier for you to find, you know, answers on Google, more power to you. But for me, I don't think it'll be easy for me to find answers on Google because there'll be way too many options and I won't know where to look and it'll just confuse the heck out of me. So I don't think Googling it is worth it. I think I'll just stick to newer Minecraft. Personally, I think I'll just stick to newer medieval Minecraft versions, but that's just me. I don't think 1.16.5 is worth it. But personally, I'd love to hear your input on this. So drop me your opinion in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinion. Now, I have no idea what to do about any of this, which brings me to my next point. How do you fix the problem? Well, it's simple. I've noticed that there aren't any new versions. Because I went to check and see if there was a change version option, and there isn't. But that's the problem. The way to fix this problem is to make a newer version. Now I know, I know, it's going to be complicated. Why would you want to make a newer version? It's so complicated. Well, if they were skilled enough to make this mod, they're skilled enough to make a newer version, and I don't understand why they didn't. Personally, I think that's the best way to fix this problem. You make a newer version that has less mods, but still has that same feel as the older one. Now, I know what you're thinking. Pacer, there's 1.19.2 and other stuff like that. Well, I'm talking about, you know, 1.16.5. Making a new version of that. You know what I mean? But what do you think of all this? Let me know. I'd really appreciate it. But that's it for this video. And be sure to subscribe while you're at it because it really helps me out. See you in the next one.